Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Taurus for the second week of June for love and relationship Either you are thinking about a trip or moving, dear Taurus. I see like you no know, past, 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 past relationship. A past relationship, someone from your past, long time ago. Um, it looks to me here that you were like you no know, maybe thinking or hoping for this person to be really coming through but you feel like you know they are not really coming any more or moving towards you could be like you know, just moving towards you yeah i get here a relationship or marriage that has been ended like you no know, years ago or long time ago this is what you are thinking about or a relationship ended long time ago you thought that this person is going to be moving towards you but it looks to me that this person is not moving anymore towards you I get here that your person, they have been really like, you know, just fast doing or making money, good money. Uh, it's a business and they cannot really be committed like, you know, to be lazy or uh, alone or something like that. They want like, uh, to, to be working like, you know, wherever they are, their work is really working very well. They don't want any distraction and this time also. They cannot be too reliable to talk to you really very much also because I get here of work. Something to do with work. And you say like, no, okay, that's fine. Like, you know, maybe they helped you a lot in the past or you get really some help from this person. Now they are backing off and saying like, no, okay, goodbye. Or they are saying like, no, goodbye in a nice way. It's not really a fight or argument. Um, this is like, you know, a person that you know from the past long time ago. And that person is not mad at you. They can talk to you. But um, they are just saying like, you know, they need their space at this time or they need their time because they are working or they need to work. I'm not really picking on this person upset with you about anything. They are just like, you no know, really tough for their business right now. And they are really pretty serious about life. You miss this person really so much. You miss your person and you are holding on this person. And you feel like you know, that you want them like, you know, to be really next to you or closer to you. You made wishes, you made plans, but it did not really get very well or get anywhere like, you know, with your hopes and wishes here. That's why I get here that this relationship it did not progress the, the way you want to. But in the same time, I get here, there is that happiness and love for another person. So we are picking on two persons. One in relationship right now is really working very well between you two. But another person that you really care for a lot. There is no problem or major issue. That person moved on with someone else before. But you still can talk. But you are feeling like you know, that... This person is not going to come around like, you know, anytime soon to be really joining you uh, where you want them to be. This is what I'm seeing here. You still care for one another, the past person. You care a lot. But, yes, you care for each other a lot. But, you know, your person, that's the past person... 
they are happy in a relationship with someone else. But it looks to me that, you know, they purchased a house or a home or something. Um, your person is really purchasing a home or establishing also like, you know, a business also in the same time, like, you know, all together. And um, they kind of like, you know, really still have love for you or hold on you about, I guess here they have been hurting a lot in the past with you, that's why it did not progress, that's why they chose, like, you know, to be with someone else, okay, but I see you, like, you know, around another person at this time, and this person, like, you know, that you are going to be really married to, and this is really something great is coming up for you, so you are getting married to someone recently, and someone from your past you cared for a lot, they said goodbye a long time ago, but in a way, in a peaceful way. So they are letting, telling you like, you know, just, um, it is over, move on, you know. But they are still nice to you in a way that they don't really want to hurt your feelings. And you should just like, you know, it's like you are getting the okay from your ex or somebody um, to be really moving on and be happy with another relationship. Yes, you don't need their permission, and they are not really giving you a permission, but they are telling you it's okay to move on. Just let go, you know? A great communications between you and the person that you decide like, you know, on staying with or like, you know, getting married to, which is really a good thing. And I get here sometimes like, you know, there are too many things that is really not good. Somebody is spying on your work or business or something. Be careful if you are at work, somebody can be investigating something like no of your work. A new beginning with love at this time is going to continue really to be very good also. You are preparing for a future or a wedding and it's going to be really like no beneficial for both of you. Changing life like no or to be lonely and to be like no with the person that you want. And it's really going to work. I get here, you have really like, you know, just uh, also to watch out for a sudden uh, bill or something that you forget on the side or it's going to appear or you have to be really paying your bill, something about your bill. You have to take care of it. You cannot really neglect it because it will do you very good if you do it right now instead of delaying it. And I guess here, let, let go of your doubts and your disappointments. Love is really great at this time. You're going to enjoy your life and your time with the person that you love at this time. And you want to settle down with and stay with. That relationship is not going to be discontinued. But you have to let go of the past relationship, very past relationship. It's like, it, it, it showed me that you did let go. But... It's like, you know, stays in the heart because you made plans, wishes, like, you know, you were hoping so much for that person to listen to you and be around you, but it did not work out for your benefit. So it's really better to let go because waiting for someone that who doesn't really want to come around bring, like, you know, just full disappointment. So you better enjoy your time with the person that you are planning for wedding at this time and establish really a family. It will do you like you know, greatly and it will distract you from the past that kept disappointing you and disappointment one after another. So I see happiness coming to you and you have the key for your happiness at this time. Just let go of your emotions or control your emotions from a past relationship. And that will do like you no know, really better. Well, um, dear Taurus. I hope you enjoy your reading and if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com and the link for my website, it will be below this video. And um, uh, from uh, starting next week, uh, I will be really starting to work Saturday and Sunday. Um, sometimes I'm going to switch on and off, you know, work Saturday and Sunday and sometimes not because I did the motive like you know i was trying to rest um so see you
soon like you know for next week thank you so much for watching thank you bye bye